At this time, I invite the children to come forward for the children's message. <clears throat> Oh, how are you guys today? It's nice to see all of you. You can sit right there, Samuel. Good boy. I'm going to pass out this piece of paper to you. Uh, today is a Memorial Day weekend. Are you guys having um, a cookout? You guys are having a cookout? You can't even stay one open eye? Oh, my goodness. Anybody have any toothpicks on them? They could prop an eye open. Yeah. Piglet. I'm going to give you guys this cartoon. Now, you can take this cartoon with you, and then would you hand that to Alexi? Thank you. And then um, you can color it at home if you want to, or wrap a sandwich in it, or I don't know, whatever you want, want to do. Here's Samuel. That's for you. Um, are any of you having barbecued ribs, by the way, at your house for uh, no barbecued ribs? Yeah, just I'll have to find my own. I was going to drop in, but I guess that won't work. Okay, this is a Peanuts cartoon. I have to describe this so that the uh, adults will hear what we... First picture is Lucy and Snoopy. Okay, Lucy says, I don't understand you. What is Snoopy doing? Dancing, he's, he's having a good time. Does he have a smile on his face? Yeah, yeah big smile. Wow. Next picture. The whole world is coming apart, Lucy says, and you're dancing. He's dancing even fancier, isn't he? And what does Snoopy say? Of course, he doesn't talk. He says it in his brain. Read it, Abby. I can't help it. My feet love to dance. I can't help it. My feet love to dance. And the next one, he's still dancing. I have an obligation to my feet. You have an obligation to your feet to dance? No. Sometimes. No. Don't you dance? I dance. You don't dance? Music. You dance with music? Well, of course, with music. Unless you just like to dance. Uh, okay. Right? Morgan, you could just dance without music, right? The music would be where? In your head, right. Okay. What does Lucy mean when she says things are coming apart? What kind of things come apart in your life? Some kind of problem, right? Okay. I know. Yes. Houses. Houses come apart? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately they do. Yeah, but they're wood. We have the contractor's view here. The wood houses come apart, the brick. That's very biblical, by the way. No. I guess you woke up, huh, Noah? Good. Okay, let me think of some things that come, sometimes come apart in our lives. Like when you have to move to a new house. That's hard, isn't it? You got your room all set up, you're comfortable. Sometimes uh, some, some people have to move long distances, like they have to move from Massachusetts to Ohio or Georgia or California. Or Europe, right, I forgot. You have to move to Germany. Russia. Or Russia. Russia. Okay, that's enough of where we could possibly move. Maybe or when you, ch when you change schools. How about you have 100 schools? 100. Yeah, 100. Yeah, 100. Okay, I think, Yannick, that's your entire contribution for this morning, and we're very grateful for it. Thank you. Um, Becca, who's in our confirmation class, next year she has to go to a whole different school. Are you nervous about that? <laughs> Obviously, Becca didn't see the script before the. Okay. Um, sometimes family changes make it feel like the world was coming apart. When I was nine years old, my grandmother, who I loved terribly, and I used to see a lot of, my grandmother died. And when my grandmother died, I thought the world had completely come apart. I couldn't even imagine 
um, as a nine-year-old boy going on without my grandmother because I loved her so much. So sometimes those things happen. Those things are very hard. And another thing that the world comes apart is uh, many years ago when my daughter was seven, my youngest daughter was seven years old, Sarah, uh, we were going on a cross-country vacation. We were going to drive 10,000 miles from Massachusetts uh, all the way across America to San Francisco and then down the coast of California and then through back through Arizona and blah, 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 all the way home. And you know what Sarah did just the week before we went on the trip? She broke part of her elbow and had to have a cast. And the doctor said to her, no swimming Why? for the whole summer. Yeah, it was dangerous. And Sarah had an obligation to swim. She loves swimming. She's on a swimming team even now today. Yeah. And she's all grown up and married even. She's still on a swimming team. Um, so uh, that world kind of came apart for her when she realized she had this cast. However, the doctor didn't figure that her father was an ingenious inventor and invented a way for her to swim even with the cast on. Oh, great. <gasps> <laughs> I can't tell you, it's patented. It's, the, the, the drawings are locked up in Washington somewhere, you'll never see them. Anyway, the point of the story is Jesus said to us one time, don't worry about your life, God knows what you need. So that no matter what happens in our life, we shouldn't worry too much. A little, little bit of worry is always going to happen. We shouldn't worry too much. We can still do something else. We can do something else. Because God shows us a lot of possibilities that maybe we didn't think of before. And the people who love us, because God said we should love each other, the people who love us will help us do the kinds of things that will make for a good time anyway. So when the world comes apart, we still have to remember... <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a separate conversation going on. Um, we have to remember that God still loves us. What do you think, Lucas? You think that's true, that God always loves us? God will help us fix whatever gets broken? Yeah. Okay. You guys are going to do, uh, you guys are going to have the whole service on Children's Day, right? You're going to do everything? Well, are you ready? No. Okay. Well, go and get ready then. Thanks for listening, guys. You can keep those. Mm -hmm.